Here's a depth and complexity question I found on an old worksheet. What title would you give this chapter? Explain why your title fits the chapter's big idea. Now, sure, I'm using depth and complexity, but how am I asking students to think? Despite having an icon of depth and complexity there, my question is neither deep nor complex. I would say picking a title for a chapter is a way of summarizing the chapter, and summarizing is down in the lower half of Bloom's, understand or apply. But my goal is always to get to analyze. Analyze is the gateway to the higher levels of Bloom's. When students analyze, they're comparing, contrasting, and categorizing. So we have to have at least two ideas in order to analyze. My first draft might look like this. Pick two characters from the chapter. How would they title the chapter differently based on their experiences? I like the direction, but I never want to ask a one-off. I want to create a scaffolded sequence. So I might start by picking two characters from the chapter, and then I'll ask students to summarize the chapter from one character's perspective. How might that character title this chapter? Then we'll do the same for the other character. How would they summarize the chapter? And then what would they title it? Now, all of this is scaffolding so that we can get to the real task. Write a paragraph in which the two characters discuss their choices for the title, and in the end, they should agree on a new title which reflects both of their experiences. Now, right now, this is pretty vague. We're trying to make it work with any chapter in any book. So let's get a lot more specific and see how we might actually use the sequence. Let's say we're reading A Wrinkle in Time. It's chapter two. First, Write a three-sentence summary of this chapter from Charles Wallace's perspective. What title would Charles Wallace give this chapter? Write a three-sentence summary from Calvin O'Keefe's perspective. And what title would Calvin give the chapter? Write a paragraph in which Charles and Calvin discuss their choices for the title. In the end, they should agree on a new title which reflects both of their experiences. I've purposefully picked two characters who had drastically different experiences in this chapter. Now let's compare that to my original. What title would you give this chapter? Explain why your title fits the chapter's big idea. Do you have a depth and complexity question that you'd like to see renovated? Send it in to me at ian at See you in the next one.